Hi everyone, I'm Oliver, Creative Director at Saber Interactive. It's been over a year since we first launched World War Z, and we're still working towards our commitment to ongoing free content updates. Across Season 2 of Free Content, we've already brought you new missions, new weapons, new unique zombies, the ever-popular Horde Mode Z, and much more. Today, I'm here to talk about our latest batch of content that makes up the Drone Master update. First up, full crossplay support is now available. You can play World War Z's full array of PvE game modes with your friends in a party across all available platforms. We've also got a brand new playable class to help stem the zombie hordes. This is the Drone Master. While playing this highly versatile class, you'll have control of a personal drone. When activated, it follows and supports in a variety of ways. By default, it's equipped with a taser, automatically stunning zombies that get too close. However, by digging into the perk tree, you can customize your drone in a variety of ways. You could replace the taser with a lethal weapon, change its behavior to support your teammates, or even enable a deadly kamikaze attack. Whether you want to increase your team's firepower, enhance your defensive capabilities, or provide helpful buffs, the Drone Master can be customized to have it covered. Outside of this class, your anti-Zeke armory has been expanded. The ACW-20 is a low-caliber semi-automatic grenade launcher with its own upgrade tree. It's a rare pickup that's very effective against grouped up swarms, but watch out for friendly fire. As always, all this is joined by a bunch of fixes, new weapon upgrades, perk rebalances and quality of life improvements. This content is also joined by our latest paid DLC, free for Season Pass and Game of the Year Edition owners, or available to purchase separately, offering four unique weapon skins. See you next time.